Welcome to a walkthrough of the Dynamic Consent Portal Control, which has been developed by Australian Genomics. Control was co-designed with participants, researchers, ethicists, genetic counsellors and clinicians, using a collaborative design process that involved user research, participant interviews, rapid prototyping and usability testing. In this walkthrough of Control, we will cover the major features of the portal. Control is a secure web-based portal hosted by the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. Participants need to register for the control portal in order to create a profile. We've made the registration process as quick and easy as possible. The only piece of information participants need is their study ID, which is automatically emailed when the research team makes a record for that participant in REDCap. Control is configured to REDCap in the Australian Genomic Study, but can also be configured to other study databases if the participant's information needs to be verified or linked. We've developed a set of terms and conditions and a privacy policy that we encourage participants to review before creating their registration. Participants must accept the terms and conditions in order to complete their registration. Participants logging on for the first time will be taken through a five-step consent wizard. The first step is an introductory animation video to the control portal. It is less than three minutes long and explains to participants the benefits of creating a control profile, such as being able to review study information and change their choices about participation in a study and also for future sharing and use of their biological samples and data. Then participants are stepped through each part of the consent process. The first step is to consent to have the genomic test done as part of our study. These questions and statements were developed to harmonise with the statements that you would find in genomic testing consent forms used by genetic services. They also align with the national clinical consent approach that's been developed by Australian Genomics. Each question has additional information that provides in-depth context and detail, should the participant want to know more. This allows the participant to consent to anything they immediately understand and agree with, while still allowing them to get more information about a particular point if they wish. This reduces the amount of text that participants are usually presented with in lengthy consent forms, allowing them to check off statements as they go, rather than agreeing to everything they have read all at once at the end. The consent is built into the questions and the participant flow. So, if a participant leaves any one of the statements unchecked and clicks next, they will be asked to confirm if they don't want the test, or whether they would prefer to review their answers. If they review their answers and decide that they do agree, they will see a confirmation pop-up box that tells them that they are confirmed to have a genomic test. The next step is consent to the research participation. This section helps the participant understand that researchers will collect information from their medical records, they'll be asked to do surveys from time to time, and that we may share their information or sample. Similar to the previous step, if the participant does not tick all of the statements, they will be asked to confirm if they don't want to take part in the research, or if they want to review their answers. The next section is about preferences for return of results. We acknowledge some testing laboratories will not support these preferences at this time, and that there are approaches that minimise the chance of incidental findings occurring. But at the same time, we ask people to indicate their preferences for return of results. They are also asked if they'd like a summary of their genomic report stored in control in the future. The information on this page is integrated with the REDCap study database, allowing study personnel involved in patient care and with authorised access to view individuals' preferences. The final step is about participants' consent for research outside the study or future use of their samples and genomic and other health information. These sets of questions are broken down into two main areas, about who can access de-identified samples and information, and what kind of research they can do with it. These questions are based on the Data Use Ontology Technical Standard developed by the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health, which allows us to apply data access permission and limitation codes to participants' data, based on whether they indicate yes or no to sharing with these kinds of organisations and for these kinds of research purposes. The information on this page is also integrated with the REDCap study database to allow authorised data governance and management personnel to view individuals' preferences. Finishing this step completes the consent wizard for first-time control registrants. Once the participant completes the consent wizard, 
and on all subsequent logins to control, they will be taken to their dashboard, which is where they can see their progression through the study. From here, they can go back into each of the consent steps and modify their answers anytime. When a participant changes their preferences, the data team will be notified through a daily report. We can also query the control database or REDCap to see participants and their consent preference data. Some of the items on the dashboard are greyed out because they are not yet available to the participant. For some of the items, such as the surveys, a certain amount of time needs to have elapsed before they become available. This functionality involves control polling specific fields in REDCap. For example, at a specific time point after the genomic testing result return date has been entered into REDCap, the second participant survey then becomes available. To keep the registration process as easy as possible, we have a prompt on the dashboard for participants to complete their personal details after they have completed the initial consent wizard. In the personal details section, the participant can add their own personal information, contact details, contact preferences, and next of kin details. We also have a contact us form where participants can message the researchers about any questions relating to their participation in the study or the use of control. Finally, we have the news and information section where participants can get access to the latest study updates or more general information about genomics or genetic disorders. This is a WordPress blog that's mirrored into the control portal. Thanks for watching this demo. To find out more about Control, the behind the scenes features, or its adaptability to managing consent for other studies, please don't hesitate to reach out to us via our website.